the only guy to ever voice both Sonic and Shadow the Hedgehog. Sonic started off really nerdy. Being the ultimate life form. Through one of the rockiest periods of Sonic's history. Oh man, I, I get to swear in a video game. Watching his former characters co-star in a brand new video game and feature length film. I think Keanu sounds like sh Jason Griffith. It's great to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Thank you so much for doing this. Yeah, thank Appreciate you. It. So it's the year of Shadow. Sonic Movie 3 is going to have Sonic and Shadow in it. Sonic X Shadow Generations. It's a really, really good time to be a Sonic fan. Yeah. I want to know what you're most excited for this year. I've been just excited about coming out and meeting fans. This whole last year has been really eye-opening with <clears throat> meeting so many people that Sonic has affected in their lives for the better and uh, in such a positive way. It's, it's, it's really been mind-blowing to hear those stories and every convention's different, everybody's different. I'm most excited about that. And I think just with the movie release and the new game and everything, it's Sonic's popularity is, is outgrowing Continues itself. To grow, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Is there a moment or like a line from the games that kind of resonates with you and like lives in your head and rep free to this day? Is there something? Um, well, so many now that I'm doing cons because people are just reminding me of the lines oh, over and over. Um, I don't know, that's a good question. Where's that damn fourth chaos emerald? I love that. I one. do like That's that one. one. Yeah. Keanu Reeves, Shadow the Hedgehog in the movie. Yeah. I know you've probably been asked this a thousand times, but what are your thoughts on that? I think he's going to be great. I think Keanu sounds like Shadow as it is, <laughs> just with his regular voice. So I think it was a great casting choice. I think he's going to do, I, I think he'll do really good. Besides your portrayal of Sonic and Shadow, which one since has been your favorite? I know Kirk Thornton, and he's a really good guy. and. We've done a lot of stuff together. I really, you know, I like I like what he does. Uh, I don't know if I have a favorite. I think every, you know, that's the thing about like everyone who's kind of lent their own voice to these characters. Everybody brings something different. Like nobody's just trying to copy the other guy and be that facsimile. So <clears throat> I think in that sense, everybody has a really unique take on on the characters. So well, there's a lot of returning elements in Shadow Generations, like older stages, and then Maria and Gerald Robotnik, those characters were big in the game, did you voice them in? Which of those older elements are you most excited to see brought back in the new game? Oh man, I don't I don't even know how to answer that. I, look, I was I was a big fan of the platformer games, so the Genesis, and I think if, if any of that is in these new games, I'd be very excited about that. So you're not in the new Sonic movie, so you're allowed to predict this, I think. How do you think the movie would end if your take on Shadow was the one in the movie? <laughs> How would it end? Yeah. Um, with with glory and <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to answer that question. That's a good question though. Um, how would it end? I, I think it would end with me being the ultimate life form. Always. That's the exact answer I was hoping for. <laughs> so when you got cast to be Sonic and Shadow, which voice was kind of harder for you to find? Neither was hard. Uh, Shadow, I think, from what I did from the audition for Shadow, I wasn't asked to like shift it that much for, for when I booked it. Uh, with Sonic, through the audition process, they had me change the voice. And then through the years of voicing Sonic, they had me change the voice. Because Sonic started off really nerdy, like this. But by the time we were doing Unleashed, he sounded like this. Because they just they wanted him cooler, more relatable, and less sort of what I was doing in the beginning. So n neither of them was difficult, but that one definitely was the most complex. So that was voice direction. That wasn't you kind of shifting the voice. That was all. No, that was the producers and the directors telling me, try this, try that. So when you were like handing the script for a new game, which thing that Sonic or Shadow had to do kind of shocked you the most? Because I know you were the voice for the Werehog games, yeah. like Elise, Sonic having a girlfriend kind of thing, and then obviously Shadow swearing a lot. So that, which of those? That's it. It's Shadow yeah. swearing was. Oh man, I I get to swear in a video game, and I get to get paid for this. This is great. That was a big. Yeah, that was. I look. That whole process was just so mind-blowing to me because at the time it was the biggest job I'd ever booked and I was just amazed every day that I wasn't getting fired because I thought at some point, as all actors do, oh, they're going to realize I'm fraudulent and they're going <laughs> to take me out of this game. A little imposter syndrome? Not imposter, now, no, not imposter syndrome, more like I'm, I really fooled them to get this job and now they're gonna find me out. Maybe imposter, yeah. All right, and then where can the people on YouTube find you? What are some upcoming projects that you're working on that you're most excited about? Oh, great. Uh, well, I'm in uh, Vinland Saga, um, Romantic Killer, on I think both on Netflix. Uh, I'm gonna be coming to a town near you uh, for Comic-Cons and events 
all throughout the country and I think the world next year. And uh, man, there's, there's a couple things I can't mention. I, I just work, I'm working on something now. It's pretty big, but I can't, I can't really, I can't say anything. Understood. I wish I could though.